Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about compound inequalities. And we're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 8r minus 5 is greater than or equal to 6r minus 1, or 4 plus 4r is less than or equal to 3r minus 3. Well, my first step is I'm going to solve each individually. So I'm going to subtract a 6r to both sides here, and I'm going to add a 5 to both sides. And in doing so, 8r minus 6r is 2r, and that's greater than or equal to negative 1 plus 5 is a positive 4. And then I'm going to divide by 2 to both sides, giving me r by itself is greater than or equal to 4 divided by 2, which is 2. So now I'm going to same thing here. I'm going to subtract a 3r to both sides, and I'm going to subtract a 4 to both sides as well. 4r minus 3r is just 1r, and it's less than or equal to negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7. So I'm going to rewrite that down here, or kind of bring it down. r is less than or equal to negative 7, so they're on the same level. Both my r's are isolated. Fantastic. So now I need to graph them. So I draw my number line here. Okay. I'm going to include negative 7, and so I have negative 8 here, negative 9, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and we put 3 in parallel. Okay. Well, first one here, we said r is greater than or equal to 2. So I have a closed circle at 2 because it can equal 2. And r is also greater than 2, so I put my arrow to the right. Okay. The next one, r is less than or equal to negative 7. So at negative 7, it can equal negative 7. So I have a closed circle at negative 7. And I put my arrow to the left because r is also less than that negative 7. <laughs> it doesn't need to go down, but it's just less than, okay? Fix it a little bit. It looks a little, and it's a thick one. There we go. Okay, whatever. There's my arrow. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, so now my graph matches my final answer, which is r is greater than or equal to 2, or r is less than or equal to negative 7. So let's recap. We're given 8r minus 5 is greater than or equal to 6r minus 1, or 4 plus 4r is less than or equal to 3r minus 3. Graph each individually. So I subtract a 6r to both sides and added a 5 to both sides. So I had uh, I graphed both individually, solved each individually. Give me a 2r is greater than or equal to a 4. I then divided by 2. Give me r is greater than or equal to 2. Here, I brought my r to the left, numbers to the right, giving me r is less than or equal to negative 7. So I just brought that down here to make it one big statement here. So now I need to graph it. r can equal 2, so I have a closed circle, and r is greater than 2, so I put my arrow to the right. Here, r can equal negative 7, closed circle negative 7, and my arrow goes to the left, if you can call that an arrow. Right, or a line there, goes left, because r is also less than negative 7. So now I have my graph here that matches my final answer, which is r is greater than or equal to 2, or r is less than or equal to a negative 7. 